Hey guys, and uh, welcome to Tutorial Grid Live. So I just had this weird little hair to try out this uh, this system again, and I'm gonna see uh, how it works because things have changed. Apparently now instead of just like live streaming, it's like the super chat, and we see how it works before I do this big old super chat thing on uh, next week when I do the giveaways. So what am I going to be doing today? <laughs> You're probably wondering. Um, well, I'm going to be creating a uh, a live uh, a robot in Element 3D. So I think that would be something cool to do. Uh, and it's something I really haven't done. So I'm going to see what I can do without doing any type of tutorial. I'm going to be building it directly in Element 3D. So this this could get uh, this could get interesting. So we don't have anybody watching right now, but uh, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So until we get some people um, people on here, I think uh, let's just do this. So I'm in After Effects. Let's go to Composition, actually go Layer, New, Solid. Let's just do, eh, do Red. Red, Solid. And let's see here. Let's type in Element 3D. You know what? I could do the the. I should use the new uh, the new element thing or not element thing. The new video copilot thing where you do control space and it brings up the uh, <laughs> the video copilot engine. I need to use that more often. All right, let's see here. Scene setup. What should we make? We got element three D open right here. Maybe a little helicopter, like a little like bomb helicopter robot. Thing. <laughs> Why don't we do that? Uh, hi, person who's watching. Welcome to the super chat, live chat uh, thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, what should we do here? All right. Uh, let's make a ba bomb uh, robot. So let's see here. How would we do that? Let's do create sphere. All right, we're upside down. Let's go... Let's do this, move that up. Sphere seconds. Push that. So it's a little more rounded. Alright, so how would our bomb look? How would a bomb look? Uh, let's do this. Internal radius. Maybe bring that down a little bit, height down a little bit. Welcome to the chat. Say hi. Hi, person who's watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Whoop. Bring that over. Let's make another one of those. Let's do one of those. There it is. Chamfer. Don't need to be chamfer. Let's go ahead. Do one of those. Push it up. Make it come out of my body. Cool. All right, let's do some shading. Now I have a lot more shaders in this. I just haven't installed them. I've been doing so many reinstalls. I just haven't had everything installed yet. If you're wondering. What do I want? Well, that's kind of cool. Be like an old bomb? No, we don't want an old bomb. That might be fun. That might be fun too. Rusty. 
Now I'm only going to be on here for an hour, so I'm I'm like giving myself some <laughs> some time. Hi, people who are watching. Welcome to the super chat. Super chat live. Uh, that's not fun. Let's do. No. No. Whoops. Oopsies. Let's do one of these. Oh, that's cool. That's that's my shader right there. Boom. Done. All right. Now let's do maybe one of these. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Let's move this out just a tad. About right there. And let's do... Uh, let's do one of those. Boom. Cool. That was easy. All right. Let's see here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Hmm. Feel free to donate if you want to, guys. <laughs> but if not, that's cool. Just leave a comment and uh, let's let's get a conversation going. Okay. So what do I want to do next? Uh, whoops. I don't want to extrude anything. I don't have anything. Let's do create... Um, let's do another tube here. Let's pull this up. Have him wear a hat. Now he's Russian. I got a Russian bomb thing. Let's not do that. Um, I'm probably already pissing somebody off just by saying that. Russia's really big right now. Hi, Trump fans. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I'm going to get in trouble. All right. Uh, let's do some more chamfer on there. Just a tad bit. Mm. Uh, radius, pull that down, pull the height down just a smidgen. Pull it down on top. And let's do internal radius. About like that. Okay, do that. Let's create one more here. Pull that up, doesn't need any jamifer. Pull that down, height, it just really needs to be a disc. Let's pull that, it's gonna be a hat. So what I'm creating is kind of like this helicopter, I guess, bob -omb kind of thing. It's got this weird little eye. And maybe I'll do like some arms or something. But this is, uh, this is so far looking pretty cool. Um, hi, third person. Welcome to the Super Chat live stream. Uh, we're creating a robot in Element 3D, so this will be this will be fun. Uh, so he's got a top hat. So let's go ahead and pull this down. What do I want to do? Radius. About right there. Pull it up about right here. Let's select our other tube here. Maybe get it a little more height. Cool. All right, let's shade it. Yeah. Metal, and we are doing this in Element 3D version 2, if you're wondering. Let's do that. That looks good. And let's do clean metal right there. That looks good. Cool. All right. So it would be really embarrassing if my like computer totally crashed. It's been having some weird issues lately. So if it crashes, I'm sorry. I'm not going to restart the live stream. <laughs> Uh, just because at that point I just like totally give up. I don't know. I might, it depends, but hopefully it doesn't crash. It shouldn't crash. Cause I'm not really doing anything crazy. Like I have like a massive, awesome supercomputer, but it's windows. So it, I mean, it's, it's bound to crash for something stupid or I'll get like a blue screen of death and it's like, oops. All right, let's do one of these. So a helicopter obviously has like a little pad thing. So let's do that. Uh, radius. Let's do about like that. Bring that up. We don't need any chamfer, so let's turn that all the way down. There we go. Well, cool. I'm actually kind of not liking this material here. Uh, let's make it a little taller. Height. 
let's get a conversation going, guys. I see uh, there's three people watching. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's uh, somebody chat. I'm gonna or I'm gonna do it for you. Say something. I'm gonna say, hey, uh, hey, people. Well, how, uh, how are you? And if you're wondering, I have a screen off to the right here where I can see all of you people. Oh, one of them left. That's all right. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and make another here. Height. All right, so this is going to be our little disc. Oh, maybe we could totally do like this weird. Okay, yeah, I totally have a cool idea. Um, okay. <laughs> I ha I have this really demented idea that I'm going. Okay, so this is totally going to be an evil bob -omb helicopter thing. Not like bob -omb's weren't evil enough, but I think I'm going to make them like really just like freaky evil. All right, let's do segments. Nope. Sides. Whoops. Sides. There we go. There's that. And radius down just a smidge. Cool. All right, so <laughs> so my idea is I'm gonna instead of creating like standard propellers, I'm going to make this like blade propellers. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, brush metal should work just fine. Cool, and I'll do another clean brush. No, God no. Uh, do that. That works. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. So let's say, okay. So so far, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay, new layer, new solid. Let's do white. So I see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Hi, third person. Welcome, welcome to the chat, the live stream. Someone give me a comment. I'd love to see, love to hear from you. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this just like really freaky. I like that. Whoops. And then brought right down through here. There's that. And then close it off. <gasps> I have a message. Who's messaging me? Hopefully somebody's commenting. Somebody commenting? Yes! It's interesting to watch the experimentation process. Thank you, person. I like it when people talk to me. Hi, fourth person. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, we're making a robot in Element 3D. So, so far I've made this weird shark fin, uh, but it's going to actually be a uh, propeller I'm not exactly sure how long the stream is going to be. I'm I'm going to try to go for an hour. We're going to see how that works. Um, so just to let you guys know, I'm also going to do, be doing a live super chat on Wednesday, which I'm going to be giving away Digi Effects Damage plugin. So guys, make sure to be there for that um, and check that out. So what am I doing here? Custom layers, custom text and masks. Uh, I'm going to need this propeller real quick. Prop, gotta give props, props, source, mask. Go ahead and save just in case my computer decides to die. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and extrude that. So now I have this <laughs> janky propeller of a thing. Oh God, yeah, this is awesome, okay. And pull that up. Um, let's do sides here. Let's do high quality. Mm, tessellation, ultra, no. Oh my gosh. Yes. There we go. There's my shark fin. Cool. All right. Bevel out. Let's extrude this by like nothing. I do not want to extrude this at all. Maybe give it like a slight bevel so it just looks evil as crap. All right, cool. Um, bevel size. Let's do one of those and zero curve. So now <laughs> uh, 
This is awesome. So now I have like this blade of a shark fin. This is pretty cool. I like, I'm totally digging this. Uh, let's do bevel size and turn that. Well, let's turn that up maybe in depth down. There we go. So now we've got this blade. That's nice. That looks that looks uh, real good. But we're probably going to have to me mess with the size of this. Probably a little bit. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring this up. About right there. Let's go to my size. Well, actually, let's go ahead and just put this in the place a little bit. Pull that down. Where is it? There it is. Right there. That out. All right. So far, we've got a problem. So this is right there. All right. About right. It's going to work with us. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is maybe see if I can do one of these. That's probably going to be my easiest solution because I kind of like the I do like the length. Of what I got here. Oh, dude, this thing could totally, like, not ever, ever fly. Visual Impact Media. I like Element 3D. I need to use it more often. I forgot how to get the extrusion effect like the round face on the head sphere. Nice. Yeah, Element 3D is pretty awesome. Uh, the round face on the head sphere. So, like, this little thing. It's just the chamifer. Um, it's in the uh, go to create, and you do this thing, and it's already rounded off for you. Um, you can just kind of mess with that chamifer. Let's see what I can, what this looks like. Maybe it's a little smaller here. Man, I just want that, man. And maybe I should go back out and change that. Eh, nah. We're already here. Mm, okay. Let's do this. Move it over a little bit. Cool. Okay. So now I need to change where this meets here transform alignment Oops. bottom there now the reason why I'm doing that is I'm aligning it from the bottom is so whenever I put this into its own group folder it'll rotate on the correct axis yeah and by the way, just in case anybody's wondering, I'm doing this all on the fly. I've never built anything in Element 3D. So <laughs> I, I saw some guy do like this massive robot. And I'm like, hmm, wonder what I can do. So I have like, yeah, I, I'm just kind of like messing around. But this is really fun. I, I, I really do enjoy this kind of like a process just because it's something different. And I'd like to do more of these um, just because it's, it's, it's literally just something different. That's just something cool that I can try. And uh, see what I can do on the fly live, right? Is that this is totally, totally not going to be that great. All right. So that works like that. Click both of these. And control D, rotate. Oh gosh. Oof. There we go. Now we have our weird, crazy little flying helicopter dude. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'll do one of those. Let's do create, extrude. That thing down here at the bottom, move that up. Uh, the antenna connected. Uh, yeah, it should be connected. Um, I'm gonna, it's all gonna be in one group folder. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the propellers 
into its own group as well as this little bottom thing. That way um, I can move the propeller, uh, the propellers, the propellers uh, on its own auxiliary channel while still being con being connected to the model itself. Let's see here. Radius a little smaller. Way down there. That right there. Cap that sucker off. Let's go ahead and change the chamifer. No chamifer. All right, cool. So let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's jagged. That is wicked, but I do not like that. Uh, let's do this. Metal. Where is it brushed? There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's what I like right there. Just as evil looking as I can get it. And something rusty. Let's do something rusty on top of here. Nah. Let's do burnt. Nah, maybe I just need to keep it clean. Kind of want some kind of differentiation, though. Mm, metal crusted. I think I used that. That didn't work. Mm. Yeah, that'll work right there. And maybe I'll do the same one on the underneath side here. That way there's just something differentiating those pieces. That is like wicked looking. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Nick Harn, he have fun. Yes, yes, I do have fun. I love creating. It's just something that I just, I was born to do. I love creating like really just anything. And this material right here is like, the bomb, like seriously, the way it kind of like, I just love that spirally material. That's cool. Great job, Video Copilot. Okay, so this isn't finished. I'm going to go ahead and create a group folder. I'm going to call it prop rename. Oh my gosh. Am I missing it? There it is. All right. And prop. Put this into my group. Select this guy here, 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 and here. Move that into the prop folder. So that's going to be all one channel. And two auxiliary channel one. Okay, cool. So there's that. So now, if I go back into this, go OK. Turn off the prop layer. Let's go layer new camera. Let's do, oh, what do I want? It's just 50 millimeter. That looks good. Oh, that's so weird and wicked. Okay. Orbit. Cool. Like it. All right, let's do something different. All right, let's go layer, new, solid. Um, and we're going to call this feet. Let's make some feet. Uh, yeah, well, I look over like every now and then. Um, <laughs> I, I can, like, I've got the screen that where my mouse is right here, and then off to the right, I've got a screen. So it's not exactly like right in my face. Uh, so there might be just like a little bit of a delay. Uh, I try to look over there as much as I can. Visual impact. All right, let's see here. What do I want to do? Um, what should, what do feet look like? Let's do maybe like. Something like this. And close it off. Something like that. That way they kind of like sit down here. Uh, let's move these just about a little bit. How about that? Maybe right there. That looks good. Cool. Maybe maybe move this up. Maybe a little sharper. Like that. And then let's do shape. Shape. 
this. Subtract. 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 Let's do maybe some horizontal. Well, no. Let's keep it. Maybe a big one right through here. Subtract. And then one more. Subtract. Okay, so that. Well, one more here. Just a big one. Subtract. Boom. Okay. So let's go to our red layer here, which I totally should rename. Uh, feet, masks, scene setup, extrude, custom path, two, boom, and I've got feet. It's awesome. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to bevel. Well, no, nope, don't want to do that yet. Path resolution extreme because I want that to be as clean as I possibly can get it. All right, cool. Looks good. Let's move this around. Do put it on the side here. Let's make it a little less extruded here. All right, that looks good right there. Like it. All right, so let's go ahead and control D. All right, my position right there is negative, so I just want to bring that into positive. All right, so it is negative 0 0.505, 0 0.505. Boom. Okay, so I've got about... 10 ish minutes before my hour is up. Let's see here. What can I do in 10 minutes? What can I make this look like in 10 minutes? Got silver feet, or I can do clean metal. That looks dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Design on a design on a dime. No. Design on time limit uh, that's kind of cool no no Oop. maybe color pick these bright gold there you go pimp straight up not it needs to be green no let's do silver just to match the bottom or the top there That'll work. Perfection achieved. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing on. Oh, one thing I want to do. So let's, I know this is a studio environment, but let's see what other textures we got. Oh, I know what I want to do. We're just going to do all element on this thing. Okay. Um, V1. No, we don't want V1. Metropolitan Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. We're going to, since it's night, we're going to do this. We're going to do this right. All right, cool. So we've got the blue background. Check. All right, so we've got a little under 10 ish minutes. Well, I've only been on for about 30 minutes. Mm, all right. Let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and save. And hopefully everything I'm about to do does not crash my computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start janking up with the utilities here. 
particle replicator, particle look, auxiliary channels. So let's go ahead and make sure this is going to work. So I've got, how many seconds do I got here? We've got 15 seconds. Uh, I'll probably be messing with about 10 seconds of that. So we'll go ahead and pull this up one second and then pull this down to 11 seconds right there. So only this part will be seen. Uh, rotation. Um, I think it's going to be this one. Nope, that was totally wrong. And I need to change those. So scene setup. Where is my extrusion model? I don't know. Is that one? Two. So these two models need to be down here. Not. not in my prop folder there. So that should kill that out there. All right, let's try this again. So rotation, there that is. Boom, we've got rotation, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and Command Z there. And let's do this. Stopwatch. Move this over about to the let's do 12 seconds here. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna do 60 rotations. And what that's gonna look like. All right. So we're going to do negative 60 rotations just because that's rotating the wrong way. That's been the same thing. It's so weird. Do negative 60 rotations. Because I want that sucker to be slicing. There we go. All right, let's make it look a little more real. Let's add some motion blur to that. Awesome. That looks good. It's fun, but the motion blur is all sorts of weird and janky. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that is actually video copilot element that is in control of that. Because I believe there's standard motion blurs at six. Am I correct? Boom. Correct. All right, let's do 25. That'll help with that. Cool. Awesome. So now we've got that working for us. And what else are we going to do? Let's show that physical environment, shall we? Let's do show in background. Oh, that's looking awesome. Okay, let's just go ahead and just take a view here. We're going to be flying in downtown New York, or I'm guessing this is actually L.A. because I think that's where Video Copilot is based out of is L.A. Oh, that's so cool. That's fun. Cool. I'm at a quarter, so I can actually pull this up to half. Kind of see. <laughs> Little flying bob -omb. Don't mind him. He's just flying around, being a bomb. Okay, and let's do some render settings, shall we? Let's pull this back down to. Let's do a third. And what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We've got this light upon here on the end here. Let's do. It's not lighting. Depth glow. That's it. Enable glow. Boom. Intensity. Not so much. Just a little bit. Just enough. Let's do What's that? Glow radius. Wrong. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, that 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 background is just so funny looking. There we go. That looks a little better. <laughs> I got a little flying bubble. I'm like cracking myself up. This is this is I 
I find this very, very amusing. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, that looks good. That's cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what else should we do here? Oh, what should we do? What should we do? Anybody out there have any suggestions on what I should do? I need, I need some ideas. What should I do here? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do depth of field. Oh, I know what I should do. Okay, let's do. It's going to be a flyby. Whoops. We'll do. Where's the camera? Pop that out of there. Z rotation. This is going to be total Dutch. Pull this back. Oh, that's one thing about that. Oh, that sucks. Whenever you use the physical environment in Element 3D, it doesn't act as if it's on a 3D channel. Ugh, I hate that. What can I do? What can I do to fix that? Um, I remember there was one thing. It's like a starter pack. It was like, no motion design. No, man, I think the starter pack physical. Does that have the environment? It has a fractured ball. That'll work, right? Dang it. That's not what I want. Crap, 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 crap. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try to figure it out without it. Could have swore there was something else here. Okay. Well, that's just going to have to do. So we'll just do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So we'll just do a slight zoom in. Well, let's go back here. I'm gonna start from underneath. Such a cute little ball bomb. And I'll also do some lighting here here in just a little bit. So we'll do that. We're going to start from underneath. And then we're going to go to the end here. And we're going to toggle this around. And push this forward. down pull it around here all right there's that cool all right so let's see what that looks like It's just a little flying bob bomb. Isn't that cute? Uh, visual Impact Media. I really kind of hate the 3D or the Element 3D lighting. Like it's just, it's too fake. Um, normally, uh, I will use like the... Uh, uh, the environment maps that they have, which are absolutely fantastic. But a lot of the times I will just use uh, my own lighting and try to completely erase all the physical environment mapping just because it, it just looks more real to me whenever I add my own lights. All right, so we've got our little flying thingy here. 
I think we need to add some like turbulence. Um, yeah, we definitely need to add some turbulence. So let's go ahead and save that. So since we have this entire particle replication system, um, what we need to do, I'm just gonna go, we're gonna add some kind of, some kind of turbulence here. So we're gonna do, let's see what happens if I do wiggle, wiggle like 0.5 frames over 20. kind of gives it a, a little <laughs> oh it's so cute and it's totally not not realistic at all that's the cool thing about it this is like what you would see in one of those really bad like B movie Disney movies uh, that's, that's what I'm creating right now. <laughs> All right. Let's do that same thing to the Z. Uh, let's do this. All right. Z wiggle. Let's do one frame over 40 and see what that does. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're making some, some turbulence. Oh gosh. What's going on? <laughs> I love the randomness of wiggle. It's just like one of my favorite things ever because you don't know where it's going to go. And just like, okay, let's just play this and see what happens. Yeah. Wiggles your friend. <laughs> and it can also be a really, really bad enemy, especially in, in the course of what this, <laughs> this little bob doing It is totally wiggle is totally it's enemy enemy. This thing would have totally stalled out by now. Oh gosh, it's going overboard. I think we need to add some a little bit of camera shake too. What do you think? All right, here's some real time. Whoa. Uh-oh, bob -omb. Uh-oh, bob -omb. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> oh, man, this thing's cute. This thing's funny. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Oh, my mom, you're going to die. Oh, my mom, you're going to die. All right. That's fun. Um, let's add some camera wiggle. So let's go to camera. We got the position there. So let's wiggle that sound thing. Wiggle. Let's do 30 frame or 30 pixels over 80. Let's see what that works. Pop contains an expression error. Oh, that's why. Oops. Oh my gosh. Shift. There we go. Works. Uh oh, that might be a little too much. Yeah, that's totally too much. Real play. Yeah, that's totally too much. All right, let's do uh, 10. By the way, if you're just now tuning in, uh, we're making uh, <laughs> a robot in Element 3D. So we created this awesome... Uh, <laughs> On the I call it, it's a bob -omb bot. That's what it is. It's a bob -omb bot. So I created this using only Element 3D directly in After Effects, and we've kind of created this little outdoor scene where it's 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 going down. This helicopter is going down, and I see I only have about 15 minutes. Oh, I've lost two viewers. So sad. 
Uh, visual impact media, have it fly by so you see a pan of some of the city, then the drone descend down into the street view and disappear into the distant darkness. Oh, I would love that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to create that in 15 minutes, um, but maybe I'll, I'll make an entire tutorial grid storyline based upon this bob -omb. And uh, we can do it. We can do a whole tutorial over that. This is like, uh, oh, what was that movie? This is like Air Force One. Someone like took over a bomb bot, and it's yeah, it's terrifying now. Okay, let's do. That's just a little much. Eighty pixels. Uh, let's do like forty. Holy crap! I don't think that made anything. Oh my gosh! Because I put it to four hundred. Oops. There we go. All right, so it's not so turbulent now. Uh, it's just it just gives it a little a little bit of a push. Forty's a little less though. Let's do like sixty. Not 600 wiggle. Come on. 60. I want 60. There you go. All right. So 60 is going to be, even though I'm not going to watch it, this is what it's going to be. Um, all right. So we've got 60. Yeah, that's going to be, I think that's just right. That's just right, right there. Okay. What do we want to do? Let's add some lights, shall we? Layer new light no spot parallel hit okay and i'm gonna move my light all right let's see what it looks like from back back further 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 gives it a little bit of a backlight that's kind of good let's do layer light settings uh, let's do a blue cast And intensify. There we go. Eh, maybe a little bit more of a blue cast. That's pretty good right there. Uh, and then let's add one more layer, new light. I want to add more of like a city glow. Let's go. Something like that. Fall off, smooth. Call it city light. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's a microphone in my way, so I totally can't really type that well. All right, let's do that. And I'm gonna move, whoops. Move, whoops. Jeez. Come on. There we go. All right, move this. See it from underneath. That looks like crap, no, doesn't it? All right, let's go to layer, light settings. Yeah, that's why. Very, very ever so subtle. It really needs, I guess, to be more of an orange. Maybe like five. Yeah, there we go. That way we just have like a little bit of that pop to kind of differentiate our our model here. All right, I've got 12 minutes. What do I need to do in 12 minutes? Let's check this out. I see our model's starting to pop a little bit. Whoa, there we go. This is awesome. I love it. And then you see that city creep up. It's like, oh my gosh, he's on the city. He's going to crash. That boy's going to crash. No. He's going to fall out of the sky. I do not like how bright that is. Let's go down. 
Boop. Boop. Right there. Let's go down. Um, let's see here. Glow, 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 glow. There, maybe 0.5. That's just so bright. So bright. Point like seven. You only need a little bit. Like, really. You only need a little bit. Yeah, no, that's way too much. Uh, bring that down. That's a little better. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I wonder what would happen if I put some depth to this. So let's see, light, camera, camera options. I bet this is going to ruin a lot of stuff, but I have to see if it's going to work. Huh, that actually didn't do a whole lot. Aperture, 150. Owner. All right, let's see here. Full. Worse or better? Worse or better? All right, so we'll do that. Start that depth right there. And then we're going to get closer. So whenever it gets like right here. And pull that sucker down. It's going to be at like 600. There we go. Fast rectangle to octagon because it's just smooth. And let's check that out, shall we? Let's go to half though. So it renders. Oh, I love Element 3D. I haven't really worked into it a whole lot lately, and this is just kind of like a reminder why I love video copilot stuff. <laughs> because you can do so much, and it was just so well thought out. Oh, Andrew Kramer, what have you done to this world? And it's pretty, pretty amazing things. Tell you what. I mean, beforehand, like, if we wanted to create something like this in 3DS Max, like... Five years ago, it would be like just to make this scene would have taken like five hours, <laughs> you know, something like this would have been just insane, just taking an insane amount of time. And it's just so stupid. Like, this is a dumb scene. Like, it's, this is legit. Like, come on. It's a bomb with a freaking helicopter in the middle of a city and he's going to drop like before. If you wanted to create like something like that in 3DS Max, it just take forever. Yeah, the 360 environment map is the is is the city. It's it comes with uh, Metropolitan whenever you buy it, and it's just kind of a, a quick and easy go to. Uh, whenever you're wanting to use it, I usually prefer uh, using the 360 environment map on a environment model. Uh, it gives a better result, but I just uh, installed all this stuff all over again the other day and I did not install that one so I need to redo this whole thing except use the uh, <laughs> use use the environment map uh, 3d object so this looks real fun uh, so yeah I think we should color it oh man you know what I need to add like sparks like there's something going on but that is for another day. I've got six minutes left to go, so let's go ahead and, and uh, color this sucker up. Yes, I like the uh, Luma panel way better than any of the other color correction panels, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to save it real quick. There, new 
adjustment layer, Lumetri panel, basic color correction. Let's change the white balance, shall we? Give it a little bit of a, an orange hue. Give the cinema look very kind of slightly desaturated in there. Create a sharpen this sucker up. Yeah, ultra sharp. God no. Vibrance versus saturation. What do you guys think? And let's do Highlights here. And curves to final. Yeah, so a lot of the times I actually like bringing down my highlights and then creating a curve adjustment, especially for like the darker scenes. It just kind of adds a little bit more uh, to what's going on. So here's our scene. And it only took an hour to create. I mean, it's really janky, <laughs> to say the least. I really wish I had a the uh, 360 environment, or not 360 environment map, but the uh, environment uh, model to use that way it kind of reacts more with our camera but I mean for an hour of work it's not bad for a live stream oh wow I have five people watching hi guys I hope you enjoyed the show so uh, I created this <laughs> bob -omb in video copilot element 3d v2 uh, with uh, 360 environment using all of the internal uh, stuff from Element Co Element Copilot from Element V2. It is all completely created in Element. So pretty cool uh, little deal. No third. I mean, it's all third party plugins other than the Lumetri thing. Uh, but it's kind of like this weird Air Force One bob -omb thing. It's going to drop out of the sky and uh, and blow up. Because that's what bob -omb's do. I'm guessing the helicopter propellers are going to fly off of it. And this uh, <laughs> and the, uh, the the propeller stick right here is actually going to turn into a, a fuse. And then it's going to explode. So that's what's going to happen. Welcome to my mind, people. Welcome to my mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. Guys, thanks for watching uh, this Super Chat uh, live stream video. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did too. We created something that's very, very kind of silly. Um, I'll upload this and, um, and put it onto the live stream, but thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, make sure to check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash avid productions four seven nine. Also check out my website at Cherokee .com. You can see my, uh, vlog slash blog slash vlog vlog blog. And yeah, you just kind of keep up to date with all the cool tutorials that I have on my channel as well as the vlog um, where I actually do real life work and create some pretty awesome things uh, for some pretty awesome clients around the world. So make sure to check that out. Um, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. I totally will see you guys next time. Thank you again. Thank you guys again for uh, hanging out with me tonight.